don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love, here in Avergania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another gorgeous day here. We're preparing for a thunderstorm. <laughs> it's the start of the rainy season and let's pray we stay connected on the internet and we are grateful for this beautiful cleansing healing energy that nourishes all of our crops, plants, there's flowers everywhere and there's so much activity. There's birds of all colours and sizes rejoicing in this beautiful gift of creation because they have so much to eat. They have fruits and grubs and you might be able to hear them now in the background at the mango tree. <laughs> There's plenty to go around. So we're being held in this majestic high vibration of Mother Earth and we have another day to multiply our love light here on this tiny little planet we call home for now. So wherever you are in the world, relax. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the center of our being, our heart center, connecting us, one family right across the world, heart to heart. This pure flowing current of love and light and put a glass of water beside you this is blessed and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind body and spirit and as we close our physical eyes which is totally necessary for this deep connection the best sight is insight current can only really be manifested with our eyes closed as we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, problems, difficulties, challenges, we open our spiritual eyes. Where we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We're reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're much more than we think. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have an enormous infinite amount of help available to us from beyond the veil as we embark on yet another voyage of discovery and today we celebrate two phenomenal incorporated entities of the casa and this is a double incorporation so it's extra powerful and many people may not be aware of uh, Dr. Fritz, a German surgeon whose spirit has been channeled by several Brazilian psychic surgeons, starting with Zé Arrigo in the 1950s here in Brazil and continuing up to this present moment. Both Zé Arrigo, the Brazilian, and Dr. Fritz have incorporated into Medium Joao's body at exactly the same time. So a double whammy, really, really powerful energy. Dr. Fritz said that he had been born in Munich because of his father's ailing health. The family moved to Poland where the, when the boy was only four years old and forced to work when he was young because of his parents' premature death, Fritz studied medicine on his own, so he was super smart. And one month before graduating, a general came into his office with his daughter in his arms, and despite his efforts, Fritz could not save her. The officer accused Fritz of her death and had him put in jail, where he suffered all sorts of tortures. He escaped from jail and fled to Estonia, 
where he lived from 1914 until his passing on in 1918 during World War One. And Zay Arrigo, who incorporated Dr. Fritz also, was a faith healer and a proponent of psychic surgery. He claimed to have performed psychic surgery with the hands or with simple kitchen utensils while in a mediumistic trance. Therefore, he was also known as the surgeon of the rusty knife. During his operations, he embodied the spirit of Dr. Adolf Fritz. Zay Arrigo was born João de Freitas in 1921 on a farm in Minas Gerais in Brazil. His family were very poor and he could only study up to a third grade at school. And at the age of 14, he began working in a mine where he worked for six years. And although he had a normal childhood, he claims to have been chased by a very bright light that almost blinded him. Then he began to hear a, vo a voice that spoke in a foreign language. Around 1950, he began to suffer from strong headaches, insomnia, trances and hallucinations. One day he felt that a voice had been pursuing him, took over his body, and he kept having the same vision of a bald man dressed in a white apron and supervising a team of doctors and nurses in an enormous operating room. This entity identifies itself as Dr. Fritz, pictured here. It's all very confusing, really, but they're all the same person. After claiming to have channeled Dr. Fritz, Arrigo began to perform operations using scalpels and needles. His reputation soared and spread throughout Brazil. After he had removed a cancerous tumour from the lung of a well-known Brazilian senator, over the next 20 years, thousands of people came to Congolas near Sao Paulo in search of a cure. Arrigo continued to practice medicine, never accepting payment for his services, just like medium Chihuahua. In 1956, Arrigo was convicted of illegally practicing medicine and he was sentenced to 15 months in prison, just like our brother medium Chihuahua also. And Zay Arrigo was pardoned by the President of Brazil. In 1962, he was again arrested and held for seven months for practicing medicine without a license. So he was allowed to continue treating people while held in jail. Arrigo had a dream in which he foresaw his transition to the spiritual plane through a violent death in a car crash. And sure enough, Arrigo died in 1971 in an automobile accident. Many said of him he was an unlikely healer, regardless of any controversy in the medical or legal fields. The fantastic cures he had performed are undeniable. For many years, miracles have multiplied and their cures have challenged the medical and Catholic world. He was naturally more than a spiritist willing to do charity. He was also endowed with exceptional paranormal facilities as a psychic surgeon. Zayarigo was a mix of rural worker and truck driver and it would be difficult to imagine him as a surgeon. Apparently rude simple-minded, with a good appetite, a layman, but for those who lived with him, he was cheerful, good-natured and friendly. A fervent Catholic with no instructions in spiritism, the law of physics, science or religion. He was endowed with an ethical sense, a kind heart and a strong sense of justice. So we are in great hands with our brothers Double incorporation, Dr. Adolf Fritz, who lived in the turn of the century, the 1900s, and Zayarigo, who lived in the 30s and 40s here in Brazil. Both of them incorporated entities of the Casa. So we really are in amazing hands with miracles happening all the time. 
And we are here to work to multiply the Christ consciousness on earth, which is all about love and forgiveness. And many of these entities worked through the power of our brother Jesus also, who performed so many miracles while he walked the earth and right up to this day, always with us, performing miracles. So Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few were called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we walk our paths together on the earthly plane, may we try to see with the eyes of Christ in these difficult days to really help each other along the path, to realize that we're all brothers and sisters in the light, walking each other home. And in the spirit of Dom Ignacio, who reminds us of the 55 nations who were represented at the Casa, one family. Today, we bring you the Lord's Prayer from our beautiful sister, Lucia daughter of the casa and beautiful light worker always multiplying the love light on earth in her native language german reminding us that god speaks vibration and god speaks to us always and in all ways and our prayers are always answered no matter what language we speak as it's all about intention. Vater unser im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name, dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, wie im Himmel, so auch auf Erden. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld, wie auch wir vergeben unseren Schuldigern. Und führe uns nicht in Versuchung, sondern erlöse uns von dem Bösen. Denn dein ist das Reich, die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these darker times on earth now as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the joy, the love, the forgiveness, the compassion, the gratitude, the abundance, the coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood as we work our way out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voll der Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen.
no stranger to be born once than it is to be born twice. And if we learn anything from the work of the CASA and the amazing entities that are working with us 24-7 is that we have all been here on Earth before in different bodies. And there's lessons to be learned here in the school of life. And they're not easy right now. And we really need to take stock of our lives and to really get everything into perspective. Things are starting to move now more on the planet. And we're over the initial shock of the first wave of the pandemic and there is no normal. We need to walk our paths and ascend and multiply our love light on earth. The opening of our hearts is our mission and to all of this we need to realize that there is a bigger picture and we need to see beyond appearances. We are much, much more than we could ever imagine. And we have a job to do here. And a lesson will be repeated until it is learned. And through the beautiful teachings of Spiritism, which Zaya Rigo and Dr. Fritz, both the same incorporation, were very much proponents of that we really are spirits eternally pilgrims on the path and the teachings of Chico Xavier who was also very much part of our work at the Casa instructing medium Joao through the spiritist Baziri de Menezes to build a Casa on the sacred ground of Abhijanya close to a waterfall and of course we have crystal underneath and it's a very very high portal. Let us absorb this teaching now of Chico Xavier and the entire spiritist experience reminding us of our true essence. You that came down to earth for one more experience in this body. You never failed to be a citizen of the universe. Your true nature is not this or that place. It is the infinite. You may remember many lives in various places, but you are a spiritual awareness that neither is born or dies just goes in and out of perishable bodies. You have the face of a person, but your real face is the face of spiritual light. You lay the physical body in bed every night, but it is not in it, even if you do not know it. And when you return to your body, you cannot remember it. However, at all times you are yourself, regardless of being inside or outside of the body. Realize that your spiritual awareness or essence is a being of light, an eternal traveler, and that nothing can limit your progress or condition in this or that body or this or that life or this or that situation. You carry the fire star on your chest. You are not black, white, red or yellow. You are the race of light. Light beings working with the very essence of your being. You are a partner of the stars. You always have been. You are currently housed in a dense body borrowed from Mother Earth. So thank her for the opportunity to learn something good while you are in this body 
and properly handle the vehicle of clay that she has lent to you. Keep your feet firmly on the ground, but remain connected to the higher realms where your best inspirations come from. Just as the boat can enter the river, but the river cannot enter the boat because then it will sink. Enter the world, but do not let the things of the world sink your boat and drown your spiritual awareness. Live your life as it has to be lived, but without losing the spirit of discernment and light. You are much more than you think. But nothing happens from night to day. It takes effort and patience. And anxiety for sure will poison your best intentions. You are a citizen of the universe. Always was and always will be. Remember this. May peace, love and light reign in your hearts and in the hearts of humanity now and forevermore. So be it. Amen.
knowing God is much more important than knowing about God. And there's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. And particularly now in these challenging times, there seems to be an awful lot of suffering happening. And when we suffer, we are experiencing growing pains. We turn to the one who loves us the most, the God of our lives, whoever or whatever you perceive God to be, the sacred trinity of innumerable names. And we pray, we open up a dialogue, a relationship with our creator. We're asking for help. And it's a two-way street. Help me is a prayer. Thank you is a prayer. Silence is a prayer. In the silence of our hearts, God always speaks to us. We just need to open our hearts to receive the word of God. And sometimes the best form of prayer is when we have run out of things to say and we are simply silent in front of our Creator. One of my favourite prayers is, O oh God of missed opportunities and second chances, here I am again. And we need to also remember that the best sometimes results for us our unanswered prayers because God knows exactly what we need. What we think we need and what we actually need are usually poles apart. And there is a surrendering happening also. We need to hand everything over to the architect of the cosmos, to trust, have faith and believe in the messengers of God who are all sent to help us, guide us, protect us and love us. These phenomenal entities, many of them spirit doctors, are with us every step of this journey. And all that matters at the end of our earthly lives is how much did we love? How much did we let go? And scientists will tell us that the universe is made of matter. But we know that the universe is made of love. And we are love and we are light. And our job on the planet is to multiply our love light. And to see a bigger picture. And to rise above this human condition. Which is so full of suffering. It is not your back that hurts, it's the burden. It's not your eyes that hurt, it's the injustice. It is not your head that hurts, it is your thoughts. It's not your throat that hurts. It's what you don't express or what you say with anger. It's not the stomach that hurts. It's what the soul does not digest. It's not your liver that hurts. It's your anger. It's not your heart that hurts. It's your love. And it is love itself that contains the most powerful medicine.
Amen.
be bask in this gorgeous high vibration of all the spirit doctors of the Casa. We've come to a very special and important time for us now in the current. We're open to receive after giving off our positive loving energies. Keeping our eyes closed to the end of the work, relaxing into our physical bodies. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, peace, forgiveness, harmony, compassion, gratitude, laughter. Coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood as we breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything, everything that no longer serves us. Handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos. Transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more at peace and harmony with all of creation of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big, blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant flowers being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth in this moment in time and space to let go of anything everything that's blocking or stopping us from becoming more stepping into our power our essence which is love light forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along and let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling and there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal desolate, depressed, angry, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, fire, heat, Cold, floods, famine, drought, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes. God is merciful and will hear our prayers. Mm. And let's bring Medium Chua into this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or who is suffering on account of the problems of the Casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies, who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, nourishing us, healing us, cleansing us, Let's share our bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration now into all hospitals. Helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients. And anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these challenging times on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes. Helping our elders into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums. Anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all in this together. And it starts simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. All war zones, and even there's rest, unrest, Disharmony, fighting, conflict, 
asking for the peace of God, not only for us, but for future generations to come. St. Rita is always with us. To God, all things are possible. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now. This almighty, all-encompassing, all-compassionate, all-loving, all-forgiving, highest of vibrations, enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart have the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant through the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary, growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings. Carnish and disincarnate. All creatures, great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be healthy, happy, kind, generous, loving, forgiving, joyful, aware, respectful, trusting, faithful, prayerful, come together in brotherhood and sisterhood and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
And as we rejoice and bask in this beautiful high vibration pouring from the heavens into our open hearts, nourishing us, cleansing, healing us, we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together. This wonderful collective consciousness, one family, under the banner of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love where the medicine is love. And we've done over 500 live meditations together. One heart. How beautiful is that as we take this leap of faith into the unknown, learning to live by faith and not by sight, realizing that God is so abundant and we're not alone, we're all children of God, greatly loved and looked after and nothing can harm us. We're spiritual beings having a human experience. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels unseen beings, elevated spirits, all of these ascended masters, so many, and these phenomenal entities of light and love from all backgrounds, all walks of life, all creeds, all colors, all classes. They too had bodies once or twice, they know all about the human condition, they know all about us, they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. As we celebrate today, Two of these amazing spirit doctors working through the portal of the casa, incorporated spirits at the same time, powerhouses. Dr. Fritz and Zaya Rigo, who was imprisoned for practicing medicine without license, known as the surgeon of the rusty knife. They are with us on the journey. And we are so fortunate to be able to ask for help for these amazing entities of the Casa. And thank you God for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, all of the Christ Consciousness. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to realize that life is so short, the blink of an eye. And we've been here so many times before. And we've come to this moment right here, right now. And there's lessons to be learned here and they're not easy. And when the lessons are learned, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again, dedicating yourself to this wonderful, solemn hour or so, growing along the path, experiencing these growing pains together, letting go, surrendering, Thy will be done, God, not my will. And realizing that we are not the body. We are so much more than we could ever imagine. And everything has a vibration. And God sees all of our intentions and our actions. And if you're going to be anything, just be kind. Just help where you can. Your faith is healing you. Faith moves mountains. It's healing the earth, all of those around you. Your extended family. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. Take courage, take heart. We're on the right path. Everything in love and service for the greater glory of God. Written on the walls of the entity's room as a reminder. Love and service. Love changes.
changes everything. And we are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. We rise by lifting others. Together, one family. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. And as the thunder rolls by, this beautiful cleansing, healing energy of Abhijanya, beaming out into our open hearts, connecting us right across the globe. Let us pray. Once a man was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? The man replied, nothing, as far as I know. But let me tell you what I lost. Anger, greed, ego, depression, hatred, insecurity, fear of death, ingratitude and lack of forgiveness. Sometimes the answers to our prayers is not gaining but losing, which ultimately is the gain. When you wake up, pray. When life gets hard, pray. When you're happy, pray. If you are unsure, pray. Before you sleep, pray. God is always with us. God is everywhere and in everything. Pray without ceasing. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.